I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. <laughs> Which means we're gonna fuck him up good. Hit him right in his little bangers in mash. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. That's suspicious, right? Is that suspicious? It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. we found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14 which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellati designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellati's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. What do you want, Bagley? You sound upset. Everything all right? The pound dropped another point today. Why would I be upset? Yes, how awful. You're up.
Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Shall we pop in for a quick hello? Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. That's paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Okay. Quite the interior decorator, isn't he? Look at all these traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. On it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash their hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. <laughs> to disarm. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Okay, no need to get excited. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Hardly. More like the exact opposite. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Please don't! We're here to warn you. Albion knows you're in London. You have to run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> 
Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Oh, we know. Why the hell else would I be out here risking my neck? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Oh, please. We're on the same side. Cass already tried to kill us once, and we know he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck, <sighs> think, Amish, think. <sighs> shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Oh, no! <sighs> Sign a suspect. Over. Spread out and find them. Drone, begin a search. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Chief, that was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We could have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready.
If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. You certainly know an awful lot about Nigel Cass. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <sighs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! some respect. You have a job to do. Everything is proceeding on schedule. Director Cass is out of terminal. 
This door clearly requires a security pass. Grand. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. You understand? Yeah, I know what you mean. But there's always the element. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I've dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Let's see it. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company, but, I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Good Lord, our Nigel does have issues. And now all of London is trapped in his little psychodrama. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. No, oh, it's all right, the Commissioner cares. As we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. 
I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. I need an exit, pronto. The catacombs, fam. You an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. Sounds like he plans to launch Themis ASAP. And from the way he was talking, I don't think it's the sort of genie that goes back in the bottle. I don't like this one bit.
Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Not too bad for a first go, if I do say so myself. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Um, was that a compliment? Bagley's interpersonal skills take a little bit of getting used to. Good on you, kid. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Tidus security. Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot were a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. Coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. This had better be worth it. It will be. You're going to need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab.
Security's down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrone will be in there somewhere. I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro-drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. Shut down Project Themis before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. There's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Push in your location. We've successfully trialed our first micro drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking Cass. See? School's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building and I'll work out the location of the Themis project.
Have you looked at the Themis brief, Mum? Yes, I looked at it before I assigned you to the project. I am quite familiar with what it entails. You must see the ethical implications of this. Themis violates half a dozen laws at least. Those laws don't apply anymore. Or haven't you been paying attention? We're functioning under martial law here. No. Themis is more than just martial law. It's a guillotine waiting to come down on everyone. Look, you have two options. You can do your job, or you can lose your job. Pick one. Look round for anything named Themis. On it. Well, if I was hiding a top secret, morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. On it. Our job is not an easy one, but it is an important one. Right now, we devote countless hours to intelligence gathering, and still things slip through the cracks. We're doing our best, you tell me. We are, but our best isn't good enough. That doesn't sound like... But even we aren't perfect yet. Yeah, no like that. That strikes a humble note. We make errors in judgment. That's human nature, but we cannot afford errors. We are the last resort to protect the people. Project Themis will dispense justice and protection. It will use data to predict the patterns of crime and abuse. It will let us transcend the faults in our own nature. Not oh, bad. Yeah, they'll have questions, of course, which is fair. It's an extreme measure, and there is potential for abuse, but uh, this is what London needs. Security lockdown initiated. Oh, 
authorized personnel must vacate the premises. Sebastian, this is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. Now, for the maiden voyage of our micro-drones. That's the spirit. She'll be pretty sick.
Destroy them, Sebastian, and for God's sake, be careful. Sebastian. Oh, right. You should be able to access the Themis project room now. Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day!